Hey guys, it's your boy Janetsky from The Fright Show, and today we're gonna have another brand new review for this year, our first film review for 2019, so let's just jump right to it, without further ado, let's get to it. Anyway, before I start, please... Please do note that this video contains may contain some spoiler for this film and the previous Superman film which was the death of Superman so please do yourself a favor if you haven't watched this or the previous one please do because it gonna be worth your time and all of that and if you don't want to be spoiled take this chance to you know maybe you can watch another YouTube video if you like or you know just feel free to leave but again if you're into this let's get to it so for those of you who want to know more about this film or does not have any idea of what film I am referring to, it's Reign of the Superman. Superman, not man. So yeah, it will be... Obviously, it involves more than just one character. So it's an upcoming animated superhero film produced by Warner Bros brother animation and DC entertainment so it's based on the comic book of the same name that continues to the death of Superman which was the previous film anyway so yeah the film is sequel to the last year's film and it's intended to be the 12th film of the DC animated movie universe while being the 30th third in film in the DC Universe animated original movies so yeah for those of you who are interested on when will this to be released as digital it's gonna be on January 15 2019 and on DVD and blu-ray it's gonna be released on January 29 so stay tuned on that if you are interested in picking up yourself a digital DVD and Blu-ray copy of this one so yeah I'm happy to follow along the plot line because it was well written and it was good until the time where they revealed Superman to be alive, so I know this is DC, this is comic book, they find ways to re resurrect characters who are presumed dead, but this is a film, it's another, it's another story, but again, it's based on comic books, so you know, the, you guys know the drill, but it, it's, it was no wonder that they'll be bringing Superman back because you know the Justice League can be a Justice League without Superman and all that so yeah but I was just surprised on finding how Superman how they kept Superman alive the way how they kept him alive in that capsule yeah that's a capsule right yeah I know it's a capsule so anyway and then, yeah, Superboy was not really a, much a surprise to me because the storyline is the death of Superman and you know, everything that involves Superman, I'm sure Lex Luthor is just around the corner, so yeah, he's, and he's the so obsessed with Superman thing that he decided to make a clone and wow Superboy really a younger version of Super the Man of Steel 
So, yeah, he came up with Superboy. Wow. And speaking of Superboy, coming up next maybe is the Young Justice Outsider because so far six, I think six episodes were released, which is good enough already for for me to do a review. Along with the Titans of the last few release, which I think ended up by the end of the year of 2018. And again, we're sorry for the late uploads, but again, we promise you a better content and more in 2019. So here we are with our first review. So going back to the review, so yeah, then after Superboy, the there then stand still, which there was he the steel, which I, which is the character I am not the most familiar with on this film, the steel appeared to be funny for me because he looked like he looked like he looked like like a Iron Man Superman and Thor combined you know so yeah, yeah anyways this is comic book and the world behind the comic book is far beyond my knowledge so yeah let's just I'm just gonna ask, admit that and yeah let's just go forward I mean move forward then we have cyborg Superman he was great okay, sorry for if you guys are hearing some background noise I'm sorry for that I have I'm not in a noise proof room with a noise cancelling headphones and it's quite a bit annoying but anyway it's just not get that to be some kind of obstacle for me to stop and continue anyway so cyborg superman was really a good antagonist i was very very much shocked finding out that is the villain of this film because all along I thought it was Lex Luthor and Superboy because you know Superboy was not a good character when he was when he first appeared because he appeared to be some kind of clone and I know Young Justice have that origin story on the first season so yeah then we got then we got eradicator which i'm not so familiar with next to steel but was surprised to find find out that is also in this film so in case I'm, um, uh, I was amazed to find out the Eradicator was somehow, you know, linked to Superman on this film because the way he looked at, at Lex Luthor being the bad guy here and you know the all all those stuff, but without finding out Superman is alive. I don't think I, I I'd see it that way that Superman is connected to Eradicator because they might be two different beings, comic book character. But in this film I was so amazed to find out that they're somehow linked and pretty much Superman is somehow somehow with a quotation mark controlling eradicator I mean that part was not clear for me on this one but I see it that way so I'm sorry if I confuse you guys then yeah I guess Louis Lane was 
the you know ordinary Louis Lane you see on the other super Superman animated films or show like the one that loved Clark Kent the most and would do anything to save him and would love him so much. Oh, okay, let's just not dive deep, dive deeper on that. So yeah, the plot was so good. The voice acting was nicely done, and the character each character was very well illustrated especially Superboy which this film gave gave a brief story a background story along with Cyborg Superman and, and also Steel so yeah it was funny though because I've because of the title for this film was actually the headline for the daily planet you know that scene but okay never mind I, I won't spoil you guys much but I guess that was the purpose for uh, this channel if the film was good enough for you to watch some kind of Okay, n anyway, never mind that. Let's skip that part. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, though. Yeah. I would recommend this film. Although, for me, it's not as good as the previous Death of Superman film. And all in all, f if I were to rate this, I would give this 3.5... 3.5 out of... No, it's not 3.5. I mean, 4.5 out of 5. The 0 0.5 is that the, it's not as good as the Death of Superman, which I would give 5 out of 5. I don't know if you guys would agree or disagree with me, but... It's my... Comment on this one. So, I'm sorry if uh, you guys have will not agree on this one. But again, talk more, review more. This is Jonetti signing out. Peace and see you. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. I don't know when, but see ya. This is Jonetti from the Fry Geek Show signing out. Have a great day, guys, and thanks for watching.